Hey there, what is going on? It's me, Rob, and I'm gonna show you how to make this candy cane effects in Adobe Illustrator. So before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. All right, I'm gonna put this away and we're gonna make a circle and make sure you're on the fill and you're not on the stroke. This is the stroke. If you have something on the stroke, some color, make sure you click on none and put the fill on front. And now we're going to create the first circle. You're going to select the circle from here. From You're going to select the ellipse tool right there. Press and hold shift plus alt and create your first circle. Okay, uh, from here I'm going to go to effects, go to distort and transform, zigzag, click previews and decrease the size of the zig and the zag and make it smooth. Here, of course, you can select how you want. I think I'm gonna go with uh, this. Was it like this, 1.3? One, 1 I think this is how I made it like, yeah, 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 something like that. Okay, I'm gonna go to Object, Expand Appearance. I'm gonna scale it up a little. I think the, these lines are even smoother. These are a little bit more rough, but uh, you know, if you scale down, if you make a bigger circle, the result's gonna be different and you add the effects on it. For example, this is how is the circle. Go to object, uh, sorry, effects, distort, transform, zigzag. Make the same numbers. I mean, actually you're gonna achieve more uh, specific results in here. I think I'm gonna do it here because like, you got like more pixels going on. And this is gonna look different, expand. So make sure you, you test it out. If you make it too small, uh, the result's gonna be different. If you make uh, the circle bigger and you added the effects there like that, uh, you're gonna get different results. And as you can see here, um, okay, I'm gonna choose one of these. I'm thinking, let me see how it was the previous one. Yeah, this was like more edgy. I gotta go with this then. And we're going to add some gradients. So here you can find the gradients. Just add it. Uh, usually it starts with black and white. You double click on one of these circles and you can change the colors from the swatches. Or you can go here to the color and just adjust this, uh, these things and create a personal color. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with this uh, pink, which was like before. And to, you need to go uh, basically from linear to radial, to radial gradient, it's right here. You click on it and make sure you push this right here somewhere so it goes out a lot. I think it was like something like that, yeah, yeah, exactly, good, good, good. I'm gonna create a new copy of this, go press, press and hold Alt, then drag it, press Shift also to isolate it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna select both, go to objects, click blend and make. Now you can see some copies going on. I'm gonna go and click on this, double click on the blend tool, click previews, select specified steps and increase the number. I'm gonna increase it to a thousand so I make sure it's like pure smooth in between. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of copies going on. And this is how you create mainly the this kind of effect. You can double click on the circle and you still can edit uh, this thing. So if I, nothing happens, actually it does happen. If I push this more out, uh, this purple gonna be more dominant. You can see like it, it, here it, it's gonna be more uh, amplified the pink. And uh, the white is gonna be more uh, less in there. Hmm. I'm still thinking to do something. Let me check. I'm gonna create a new copy and create one here. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm uh, I just made the gradient like like a line, so it's doesn't feel like a gradient anymore here but here it starts to get gradient you know you still st start to see the fading and the shades 
there but here it starts to get like more um without any gradients just uh why because mainly i just made here like super sharp so you get this effect i'm gonna try that with this effect actually and whoa now it's lagging big time because i just and this one is uh, more faded it's more with uh, gradients i think it's pretty cool like that okay um we got the first uh thing going on it's pretty badass so right now i'm gonna create a letter you also can you also can select the letter there's like multiple ways to do this i'm gonna make with the s i'm gonna recreate from pen tool actually it's a little bit more difficult but uh you get uh, more interesting results rather than just remake a letter you know so yeah let me select the black and uh, just drag the handle if you're making it with pen tool you gotta be damn i'm such a professional with this anyways we're gonna speed up and at the end you're gonna see the letter <laughs> So, uh, I gotta make it something like this when I, uh, of course, put this effect on, it's gonna look different, so we're gonna make it different. I'm gonna scale it down a little more, so uh, it's gonna be, this line is gonna be more thicker on it. I'm gonna create a new copy, so, uh, damn, look at that. Okay, just go to Object, Blend, Replace Spine. Wow, that looks sexy. I gotta admit that so this is how you kind of do it after that after this also you can uh, adjust it i'm gonna select the direct selection tool from here i'm gonna select this one and it takes a little while to load because there's like a lot of uh, things going on in there you also can adjust um the spine this is the spine made out of uh, made with pen tool so that's basically also adjustable and mainly this is how you make a candy cane s letter or whatever letter you want so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye